How can it be that I welcome brother wind in a storm and that am protected by so much warmth of love around me? Love is transformative. Is ordinary love anything other than being love itself? If love is transforming into a being of light, as some saints already were, like Jesus and others, is it still an emotion, since the emotion comes from the brain and leads some people astray, perhaps? Dears, thanks, and my warmest greetings in love, Mary. It depends. Is it the wind of love or is it the physical wind and how we separate and distinguish between the two? Is it flood of it? That's all it is. So much of it that it touches us. And um, the air is always there when is so much of it going so fast, we call it the wind. Is it the same with love? Is it the same with emotion? So much of it comes, and can we handle it? It's very much, does it give us elevation? The strong wind moves us, blows up, blows us across the road, blows us the wind, the leaves or the others. Would that love would do the same, makes us move. What we call it love, that emotional wind. And to what extent? And uh, what we learn from that emotional wind, we call love or whatever you want to call it. You know, you go, is it one of the states, in one of the states of Seattle, which is a windy city or whatever. Uh, do you want to especially go and live in that place because it's always windy? Or do you want to go to a desert which hardly, you know, is warm and maybe the wind, but it's a warm wind. You don't want a cold wind. Would you like? Like, um, you, do you find love in the ice, or cold, or do you find love in heat and warmth? And uh, there's the same emotion created by both conditions. And it's the same with love, it's the same what we do, what we want. And where we want to be in respect to what time and position. Because each one raises different emotion. You got to remember, you got to understand, Interaction between the fields of the physicality and the fields of the soul of the man create their own emotion, even though each one has his own image. And that emotion is a decision maker for bringing the man because it's accepted by both and reaction appears on them. You go through this process of emotion and the soul and the loss of a son becomes a cancer. The pain of the son becomes a prostate cancer. The pain of the love with the mother becomes a cancer in the left breast. And the pain of the love with the lover becomes a cancer in the right breast. In the future, the scientist with the same kind of emotion will tell you which testicle has a cancer because of which child? And in the future, scientists will come to understand why it's better to have a child of the soul than the child of physicality. Child of the soul comes from the love of balance love of the both soul of physicality and the soul of the man. From both sides. Which means there are four factors to get one, and they all have to be in balance, and it'll be perfect. In the dimension of physicality, we put every emotion into it, and then, because we cannot reach it, we direct it to ourselves, and we create the cancer inside ourselves, because the child is gone. 
we cannot do anything, it's depart, it's left the body of the mother. The mother is within you because you're born from it. The child is part of you, you still get the emotion collected. Why do we get a cancer when it's to do with a lover on the right side? Don't we give with the right hand? And don't we receive with the left hand? And because we gave so much in the right hand and you went wrong, you want to cut that part off. So you create cancer on the right side with the lover. With the left, it's where you receive love, the love of the mother, the love of the child. But don't forget, sits on the right side of the brain, the left breast. control of it, every functionality of it. Then you understand why, even the cycle of the birth, the ovaries with a man and a woman, as testicles, are positioned different, and why emotion of the man is different than the woman, and the man has a all collected in one part, even separated slightly from each other. But the woman's dimension is separated totally inside. Man has not understood the connection between the soul of the man and even the physical structure of the man through the soul of physicality. And then, it's you who controls that cancer. And even the position of the cancer is controlled by the emotion. I don't want to sit, because it's time for me to go where Now, you understand, even before we start these 500 teachings or whatever, all those teachings we did with Dr. Costo, and every session, every section which had to do with that part, emotion was put in. Ten years later, now you might understand. Now that the teaching has gone far enough, that you can understand. 